Hi there guys, Barry from God vs Glass here. Do you use VLC to play your video on your Mac or PC? If not, first of all you should be. VLC is an amazing piece of software that pretty much allows you to play any movie file you can think of. I use VLC to play movies on my Mac just because it gives me quite a broad range of customization to play my video, to adjust audio, to tweak the video and things like that. So it's a great, great option. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to do something which annoyed me for quite a long time and probably annoys every other movie viewer in the world. Now it's to do with when you're watching a movie and you may be listening to a quiet dialogue scene and then suddenly something explodes or something happens that's really really loud and your speakers blow out because the difference between the quiet and the loud parts of the movie are massively massively different and your speaker system may not be adaptive properly to deal with those changes in audio. So what we're going to be doing is using VLC's dynamic range compressor to change the difference between the loud and the quiet parts of the movie to make them a little bit smoother in transition and to give you a better viewing experience. So the first thing we're going to do to fix it is we're going to open VLC. Now I'm doing this on a Mac but the process is pretty much the same on the PC so you can follow the same steps. Now you don't actually have to have a movie open to do this, I'm just going to demonstrate it using the settings. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to window at the top of the screen here and you're going to open the audio effects. Now this will just simply give you a choice of how you can tweak the audio and sound that comes out of the computer or your headphones or your TV for that matter when you're playing the movie. We're going to go to compressor and we're going to be enabling the dynamic range compressor. Essentially this is just a way of tweaking the audio to change the quiet parts, the loud parts and all the bits in between. Now as you can see here I've got it set up in such a very specific way and we're going to go through what each of these different options mean. Now things like attack and release, now this is to do with when the, sound, when the sound changes from a quiet to a loud part, how quickly is the change that you've implemented going to happen. So for example I've got the attack set to 53 milliseconds which means that as soon as a loud noise comes onto the screen, 53 milliseconds after that happens, the change to make it quieter is going to happen. The release is how long after the loud goes back to quiet is it going to then adjust back to a normal sound level and I like to make that a little bit longer so 300 milliseconds for example because you want to have that sort of effect taper off and not be such a dramatic difference. Threshold. Now threshold is essentially how quiet you want the loud bits to be so for example when you're watching a very loud scene in the movie you would adjust the threshold down until the loud scene is still loud because it has to have that impact but it's not so loud that it's overpowering the rest of the movie ratio we'll just leave that at full uh, and then the last one is makeup gain now makeup gain is essentially the opposite to threshold makeup gain is where you're going to say okay i want to raise the level of basically the entire movie including the quiet bits to this level so for example my makeup gain is plus 11 decibels which means that I've raised all the quietest parts of the movies up to 11 decibels higher now essentially this is going to start flattening out the volume curve in the movie so now when I play my movie the quiet parts of the scene will be 11 decibels higher and the loud parts of the movie will be 20 decibels quieter now you may think that that's quite a dramatic change but actually you could still probably go even further uh, and make it even more dramatic but I still like to have the difference between loud and quiet just not so dramatic as the movie studios perhaps intended it to be. Um, so using these tweaks and just adjusting the threshold to make the loud bits quieter and adjusting the makeup gain to make the quiet bits louder you can make your movie viewing experience much much better and not have such jarring difference between loud and quiet. If you've got any more tips that you'd like to see me have a look at, or if you've got any that I can try out, please let me know. And I hope you enjoyed this tip from Copper Versus Glass, and I'll catch you guys later.